Hello, and welcome back to the Coffin of Andy and Lili. Li uh, I am recording this a mere hour after the other one. Because this game was too much fun. And I figured out in between episodes. There's going to be five episodes, and they currently have two done. So honestly, I can't wait to play more. You're finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you. Which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds are <laughs> that there is something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Ugh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So money then. And I don't get <laughs> and I don't get why they want to check my idea for every fucking thing. Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Ooh, hoo the motel's just fine, too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Ah. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey, now, we can't, we can't both be constantly shitting on ourselves <laughs> over every other little thing. True. Let's just get back to the hotel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Oh shit. Man, that was a far walk, wasn't it? Oh, he's already on the couch. Um, oh, it's a laundry, okay. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people who are in the air to stay home and seal their windows. As my work has been to rescue people block by block. Andrew's been hoarding newspapers since ever since you arrived. It's a paper from a few days, because nothing worthwhile. The papers ain't comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, it's a total list of money. Guess I'm doing laundry? I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Did you find the gun yet? Oh shit, I was just looking for the gun. So this is empty except for you reclaimed your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. All done, you're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook, I clean, and I <laughs> and I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. And you're not going to be in the news, Andy. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? You're gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. But we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. Just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked for you. Asked of you. It's and it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. Don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it, though. You're going to find out. You're going to find me a lot less a, a, fuck, accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments had a bit of situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased... This apartment was most definitely not a Wally mismanaged mess, better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease the side, it's probably when you try our Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir, something's been going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you meant to say that to drink our trusty Bubbly Popply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer you up today. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapees, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> yeah, I told you it'll all work out. Still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever things are clearly going, whatever things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Do it yourself. I'll tell you, this one's mine. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Shit, what the fuck? Cult? No one has entered the room.
Wake up! We got to go! Mm -mm. Get up, I got a vision! We're gonna get killed, we got to go now! So, I want to sit here and see if the killer actually shows up. And what and what did I deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they come from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. So you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you important too, by the way. It didn't sound like... It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon, so anyway. What's stopping you? <laughs> I said enough. Why, you? I thought we were hiding. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you were expecting to come and slit your throat. Yeah, we sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that out loud. No, sorry. Didn't we drop the guy and start pumping the freezer? Actually, come on. Seriously, I guess he's more... There's more where he came from. Where'd you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with me? With, with me? <laughs> I, <co> <laughs> I read, why sex? Why, a sex and drugs party with? And then looked down and saw me was next to it. <laughs> with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? There we go. Whatever, should we follow him? I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night, but you're also curious about what the cultists look like as obtuse. Ugh, fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Oh shit, we're switching. Shit, I'm Andrew. I wanna talk to I wanna talk to Ashley. Oh good, you're not going after all. What I am I just do you see which way you went? Into the alley, right? Okay. Let's go, Andrew. What is your take on things? Oh shit. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. You release before the third cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you, brats. Okay, then. A recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Hey, that's good for you, Andrew. Cardboard recycling, apparently moved by the devil. If the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. Bunch of footsteps on the ground. Staff only it says, and it's locked. Nothing else of importance, a breath. Mixed waste. It's asking for a passcode. One through nine. Oh. There we go. Ugh, of course. Don't know why I even entered the idea. Even to entertain the idea of it being anything else. Same. Uh, who let you in? Sorry, I was, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo, shoo. Is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? Why, well, I, I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. Oh, that was like a... No, there's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means six size is getting popular. We should be glad. I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. Pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You said you should get inside somehow and find it. Okay. Well, you already know what I'm looking for. Oh, what do I care about these clowns do, anyway? You said if you're... Oh, quits. If you're putting smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got an employee key. Okay. What's with these cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Fuck, the elevator's coming up. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, uh, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Stop eating my lunch, you animals. There's nothing else I can do. Oh shit, you're inside the cleaning closet. Ugh, this is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts um, over the elevator room. You could certainly squeeze yourself in there, but you'll also be seen instantly. Get the drapes! You have yourself in a cart like a ghost and you stuff inside the cart. Hmm. He only shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. How is this cart so much heavier than the other one? <laughs> it could it be? The weight of my sins? No! 
Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. Between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. <clears throat> well then, everyone. The ritual is all set up. Now, I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but, uh, first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. It's become increasingly clear nothing's going to show up. Oh, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something up on her first try. Oh, it's... Oh, that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I, I don't know who. Ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Where are your robes? Oh, uh, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot. Now you've got your answers, you miss... Apparently I miss Ashley, so we're gonna go back. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Uh, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with the get-up. Yeah, you can't go near dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. I'm good. Don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end, either. I don't understand, was it a vi it was a vision for sure, there was like... <coughs> Fuck. Here, your car. That that's him! <clears throat> the guy who slit our throats in, our, in my dream! Yikes, you really went into our room just like that? You still doubted me. Where'd you get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, someone... Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue our socks. Your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested, in fact. I'm somehow even less inclined now. Scoof, you know nothing about my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. There's no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like somehow you tracked us down, so even if we, are, we run away now, he's gonna keep coming after us. That's not wrong, but uh, why are you, why is he still in that room even when we're not in there? Well, if I, if I was him, I'd figure out we're getting food or something. There's not probably waiting to us to kill him upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like my vision again. And you know this how? I know it's because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew. Trust, trust me, I thought these things through. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly-dallying, let's get in there and pretend we forgot some. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. <sighs> okay, so am I, I going to be playing as Andrew from now on? Uh, leave this to me. This has to be got the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one? Or... Now shut up and follow my lead. Okay, we're switching back to Ashley. You are Ashley. Oh, that's on me. Damn it. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh, golly gee. <laughs> Go gosh, jolly, Andrew. I just, just realized aren't... Impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us turn to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take the shortcut through the park, where we may rock fall commands the foliage, shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I realized I don't trust the staff here. Even though you're about to roam about with him, would you like to save the game? Save. Well, congratulations, you found that hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew f doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman who whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic trick, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. 
I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The Hitman wins, and... Ah, oh yes, the world is much better off without you. However, this is all this is so anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. Thanks. There's no pillow. Let me grab my laundry at least. Putting the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Hitman's car. The car is locked. This is that guy's car, right? Wanna break in? And wake every single person in the premises? Why on earth would we do that? Hmm. I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Alright, oh, cars have alarms. Hey, at least I asked before doing it. Guru, can we look at his license plate? Man, we is he coming after us or not? I don't know, I thought he would. Let's pick a corner and ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. I'm behind a damn bush, man. What the fuck do you think? Like Here, this tree will do us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays with the Well, I guess we'll just, we'll just leave then. We'll grow our eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. He's got this. I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer if the killer's waiting to ambush you. You can't, you, and you can't very well start looking for him either. Now letting him know that he knows you're crap. Did we whisper too loudy? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? Let's see what we're up to. I bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us behind this. Ooh, you dirty boy. No, he can't do it here. He, off I go. Come find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. <laughs> Bro, she was hinting at an innuendo of fucking sex. I'm the plan seek with a killer and Ashley. It would have been it would have been so much more funny if you went hide to play and seek with a killer and the hitman. Ashley. Oh. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing? You have to You want to die? What if he sneaks up on you are truly? So close, so close. Nothing. Nothing about the trap in the bush. People think that they're clever hiding the candy wrappers and beer cans here. Looks like someone's gone through these bushes here. Oh, which means he's probably on the other side. Nothing. Nothing here. Can I like slip through here? I can. Ran a shopping cart. Very classy. There he is! Shoot! Damn, that's loud. Did is, is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I, I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. I guess so. Did you sell? Do they sell bullets to just anyone, or do they need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if I if you hadn't made me shoot them. Are we still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. This is good. I report anyone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off off head of the blue? Well, we need excuse to start rummaging around through the bushes. Now with the hit, now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush and you ran off to? And what if he was in the bush you ran off to? Huh, genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these quote unquote genius ideas. So that I can tell you off. We're back as yeah, we're back as Ashley. You are Ashley. Okay. We can, like steal some of this guy's corpse. Did we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, we're not gonna get a clue. How this guy carries knives on him, which is clearly criminal. Maybe the authorities would assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Oh whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since we've never gotten fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling the corpse, then. Oh, we're probably back off to his car now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Let's go!
Shit, no. Alright, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? There's an empty envelope of various papers inside and must own one more Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider the receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us, and we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we included free samples of all our new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Newspaper cutouts of various incidents. Most of them are about your oil plumber and both tainted water and the fire situation. There's also an article from last week about some chemical leak in the other city. Someone scribbled the words, same shit in the corner. Me meditate mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Take the car and go. Vroom, vroom. Where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Get the car, everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's- For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I squat about talk- Did I say squat about talking? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she exactly has? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. <laughs> well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Ah, uh, no, we still- We still can't go over there. Why not? Got per pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy, wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire to? If anything, it seems they assume that the guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now? Anyway, I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. No, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. My god, is that even your car? Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamn if we get <laughs> caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. What do you want now? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until you get tired of- Until I get tired of correcting you, and suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. <coughs> Way to read into it, I was just joking around. Well then, it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumbass about it. <laughs> just drive. Are you angry? I'm, I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. Oh, she's crying. But he finally does, and you just have to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. Saul, so, huh? Who's there? Who are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There's nothing to step on. Okay, well, I need to grab some shit to step on then. I need to grab some shit to step- Oh, this looks like I can interact with it. Pick up breath. Okay, yeah, now we're good. We good, we Gucci. What's with the eyes? 
your soul summoned you to can't tune in what you're all muffled i can't hear anything the voice continues talking but you can't make heads or tails of it <sighs> whatever i should focus on getting out of here anyway okay then uh, i can go up which just leads me to over here where i can then go this way oh shit i'm back oh wait it leads to this okay 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 i see i see i see so if I go this way, it'll just lead me back. Oh, my dumbass. <laughs> Fuck. Where am I? Everything looks the same. I am another dumbass. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I down here? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Leads me over here anyway. Uh, woo. Well, you just avoided falling down an internal void. Lucky. Ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you thought you should be free of the stole ceiling creature. I have summoned you to make you a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I am deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spa- <laughs> You're having with your brother. Don't- mm. Carries on as you haven't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah, yes. The trinket you gave me. It was- It's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep on holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with the devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that's what it... No, it's your ta soul. Is that like an intro or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realm through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't see that I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer, if I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trink thing, dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of, I don't know, something's shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right idea to talk about. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about this. I will be waiting. Alright, alright. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your right mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tarsal. The entity has left. That's just fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, so now we're off to kill my parents. Um, what, will that give me two recharges? Pick this up a while. That give me two recharges towards my my little trinket. Um, this way immediately seems like the right way to go. Oh, I need two. I need to go up. Do that. Would be doing this. Yes. We'll grab these just in case. Uh, what's this one? Shit! I did not mean to do that. Go back. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Um, do I need to collect the eyes? Oh, shit. Okay, they all need to be looking at Mr. Man in the middle. The Eye of Sauron. <laughs> okay, and the way I get to that one... It, I Because my mic is in such an uncomfortable position, I've legitimately just gone to... Because this game only requires my... Uh, Keyboard? I've been holding onto it with my hand this entire time. Ta soul. Why, hello again. This is not your path to your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm unsummoned will result in your death. Oh, so it's fine as long as you're summoned. So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here to this crapland instead? Return home, Ta soul. I am expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show me. 
Return now! Ah! Where am I now? Ugh, this is so tiresome. I've had enough to hear with these stupid flowers! Step on all of them. Fuck these goddamn flowers. Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help me get out of this shit hole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something. Help me. Ugh. Oh, thank God. I was a hair of a way of taking you to the hospital. Why would you? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Ugh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. My mom and dad should both be at work right now. Whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice to know because you treated me like shit last night. You treated- <laughs> I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled, Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab is that show? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. I mean, <laughs> no boo, no thank you. No, I saw that, you're into it, let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. This game is really goddamn fun. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and dad live somewhere down the slope. Okay. Probably this way. This way's nothing more but- Okay, well. <coughs> Fuck, Mike. I'm good. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be. She did sound happy when she talked about her new place, so... What's her last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The name puts on the doors. They go with dads or names or moms. Dad's name, right? Why would they change it at this this point? I don't know to throw us off. Really make it sound like they want they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. So our last name's Graves. Ashley Graves and Andrew Graves. Grayson. Close. Smiths. Not close at all. Ugly Van McKittius. Is that Graves? Shitterson. Okay, these are great names, by the way. Jones. That's a garage. And, aha, here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Your parents' trash bins. Your parents' trash bins. Oh. Oh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. So we, we both hate them. Ashley and Andrew both hate it. The back door's locked. Potatoes. Carrots. What are these? A stick. Here grow some tasty onions. Here grow some scrumptious carrots. And here is a rock. That I could probably pick up and chuck into that window. Got a key. Not. This is a fuck. <laughs> There's fuck all under the flower pot. Oh, there's a fence here. One of the planks is loose. Here are some go pal platable potatoes. Paltable potatoes. So nothing was under there? Nothing's under these rocks? Rug! One of the planks is loose. Lift it, dumbass! A stick. Yeah, no, a stick could help with that, actually. Grab the damn thing. Oh, wait. Oh, I think this window's open. Can you reach it? Nope. Well, then, fuck me, I guess. You know, I thought I was onto something. I saw the window open. Nope. There's bound to be something we can stand on here. Yeah, maybe a fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well... I'm no good, it's open, but held in place with a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach through to hunk unhook it. That's what the stick is for. Got stick. Let's see, let's see, aha! Andrew hopes you climb through the open the window. Give me a hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Damn. Oh shit, wait, no, they're living in a hellhole too. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Hmm? 
Now what we say, thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. I think you opened the door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now, can't it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it's probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Yeah, since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have the textbooks? They're so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Probably something downstairs. A wine cellar of some sort. A bed? Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yes, some of them managed to hoard all their stuff. All the stuff and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. The extra blood implies there are no other issues in their social life either. Social life either. Christmas stuff. Mostly candles. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. You like some documents about purchasing us. There's also a key. Dresser key. The lots of screwdrivers. A toilet. A nice ass shower. You know, with an actual goddamn curtain, too. An excellent quality mop, man. Why can't we have that? Oh, Andrew's gone. Probably in here. Yep. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sort of any jewelry, but about some paper. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet you. We, meet with you. Please come and discuss the matter further at your easy, easiest convenience. Leaving the phone, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess it explains why mom kept telling me not to call. Must have been spooky getting phone calls from a guest. That's... Shit, this is... isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. Saying that you wasted all our bullets. Like we'd shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. The fuck? Welcome home. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Didn't you get, you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out trapping. How'd you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Did you the grounds? Where do you keep the grounds? In top cover. What about that quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play long for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. This isn't the living room or the kitchen. You know what this is? Your mom's purse. Yeah, I got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you, though. Okay, whatever. That's the bathroom that we were in. Hello. Meat, wine. Looks like your parents had a night planned. Sink. Cook and book. You brew some coffee. I saw the fire on the news. So, what happened? Why do you care? Well, we first got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of parasites anyway. Huh, interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full parasites. I'm just glad that you're safe. Yeah, yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from yeah, our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the, did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you, <laughs> bet you stuck out like a sore thumb. These surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? The rest of our conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. <clears throat> well, it's good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making dinner. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know, fool, though, that was her way of telling you to get lost. Oh, oh, um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear a dad's been. He must have been all kinds... He must have all kinds of stories about preparing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix this some. 
I'll take you up on that. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry. Mother leaves. Oh, we're playing as Andrew now. You are Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking victims dinner. Go ahead then. Make something you smooth talk, are you? Okay. You don't know what to make yet. Oh shit, cookbook. You guys are cooking for some recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? Shit, itch. It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea into the back of your mind. This game... I like it. I will say. It's a very, very good game. What's up with the sexual tension between brother and sister? Either way, you let her hover over you for now. You find a simple soup recipe. You need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Have everything up and boil in a pot. Well, meat, you'd think would be in the fridge. Then let us go out to the garden. To get potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. It really makes our one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We should have to figure out how to get about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not <laughs> jump to that just yet. Ooh, just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? You guys feel like it's something she has more to say, but you can't tell whatever it is. <coughs> you can tell whatever it is is going to start an argument. So you leave it by for now. Got carrots. And you got onions. Okay. Let's go. Now we just to put some water in a pot, and we're good to go. A sink. What are the other ingredients? Meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop every- Oh, I need to chop everything up. Cut the meat chop meat, potatoes, onions, and carrots. Just curious, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you lost it first. I kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You put it in the green pot, wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Oh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really want you to come to this conclusion by yourself, but since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to go mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge. They're the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd be mentioning this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey, kids. It's, uh, good to see you. Says Dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. Actually, I'm tired some dinner later. Oh my god, is she sitting on a fucking ladder? Is Ashley sitting on a ladder? You see that? Here, I'm gonna save me some time in editing and just zoom you in for you. Yeah. There. She's sitting on a goddamn ladder. Bro, they couldn't grab. They don't have an extra chair? Are you kidding me? That's fucked up. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm uh, exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Bitch. Okay, then. Here's where, you, here's where you can wash the dishes. Let's grab them dishes. Here's where you can wash the dishes. There we go. We can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable it is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you think, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not the two dead kids. But those documents, are were the documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we're not only alerted them, we've not only alerted them, we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. What makes you so sure about this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she's already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. 
but when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think about everything, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? But you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so sh is she. Felt to me it was, this, it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay, listen, I choose you. I chose you, didn't I? I, ch I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That is not what I said. If you keep up your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Fuck my mic. Funny, because I remember agree agreeing to bury Andy and Layla. That is funny, and I think, I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like you, Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew's all you get. It, now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what to do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I get that, but if we're leaving quietly, there's no interest. Andrew, I don't believe you're second the woman keeper master. Ahem. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've got any friends you could go stay with? Oh. There's enough space in this house. It's better being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know what else to say. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not tired yet, so you are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh, sleep now or get out at once. Pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and... Fuck. And Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite everything ha Everything... Fuck. Despite having every intention to keep going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Hey there. <gasps> Greetings, neighbor! Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou mate witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to car... Compam compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. I, I'm sorry, I can't speak that well. Okay, well then, see you, bitch. Oh, fuck me, ow. Freezers are full of human flesh meat. Ow, 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 ow. What ails thee? Shit. Got a lamb. I'd prefer to get the frying pan too, but whatever. Oh shit, there was another way of going about over here. Alright, Ashley already cooked one. Who the fuck is that bitch up there? What are you doing here? <laughs> Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Stop following me, you little shit.
Oh, sure. It is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great. Hand them over. Ha, no way. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. Okay, whatever. I can't interact with her. Well, let me get that. I have placed one of the candles on the candle. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Use the lighter to light the candle. Shit. Okay. Who the fuck is that bitch? Oh, is that the bitch we killed? Hi, Julia? Oh, this is X. You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately, but I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, uh, please don't get mad. I if I ever once even raised my voice with her. You know you can't tell me. You know you can tell me anything. Uh, I talked to my sister about what you said the other day, and she agrees with me, and that maybe it's, like, maybe better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too? I think it'd be nice if you could stay over more often. It's not like always cutting things short or canceling me so much. Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. No, but you could, like, you know. Not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, 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 it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up of what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley may not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So it's probably why she is who she is now. I really don't get an impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, no, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you get out of my sight. It'll be fine if you're with me. Would you... Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no, you pulled again. <laughs> oh, but you don't know it's how boys show their love. That's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about all the chaos going on. She's not going to take you back, you know. When did I ask you? So says the inside the room with an unblanking gaze. Shh. Who the fuck is that? There's nothing to light. Was there a candle in this room? Never see her again, and the fact that she doesn't really... Okay, whatever. Next server's dormitory room. Mostly death threats. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish, you're pretty much not anymore. 127 new voicements. Oh, hell no, you're not listening to all that. Where do I go? There's this bitch, but I can't... There's legitimately nothing else, unless there's something I could do over here. Which there isn't. Which means there has there has to be something over here. Good. White noise. You many dreams the entire time sucks. So what do you want to play tonight? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I'm going to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. <sighs> well, if I nick myself, I can get rid. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Well, we know where the pencils are. They're all the way over here. <sighs> bye, bye. Is it Lele? I'm, I'm 90% sure. Bye, bye. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. But whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That flames for you. Boo, you suck. Got a candle, thank god, finally. I'll draw whatever fuck- The blue's gone. Got a blue and green. I think there was a green, wasn't there? There's a purple. Possibly? I don't know. Place it and let the candle- What the fuck? Oh, hey, look at that. Ashley, would have wanted you- Would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't even cover why there hasn't been a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this link back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. This one? Okay. Yeah, uh, whatever. And then this is the demon one. You killed this- oh, no, wait, never mind. 
Oh, I found Ashley. There you are, you menace. <laughs> uh, missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. Why do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Where the fuck is she in the closet? Got a severed limb. Oh, fuck. Well, does thou reckon my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer do not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn I knoweth not. Valet the most foolish death thou past how have ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Thee, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance there's a little consequence to thee. Okay. Um, do I just go over here then? This reminds you of something. Oh fuck, there's a chest. Oh, not this again. This has to be a haunting memory for him. Die shall first. D fuck. <laughs> Die first shall forever linger in thy memory, and how joyous it is to be initial spectacle of thy mut mutilation and cannibalism, young graves. You have to suck it up, man. Rise and shine, Nina! <laughs> Did you have fun tonight? <laughs> I'm sure I hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, she's still sleeping. Lightly kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh, oops. Wait, 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 what? Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be, right? What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak, then that you die just like that, then you're clearly nat then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up! Just shut up! Forget this. Let me just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clotted the crate until her fingernails split if they she wasn't there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows. She's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll start rotting. Then someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time till they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too, it's fine if it's both of us. No, no, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna take a you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay, let's just... Like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's, let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, that there's probably fine, but we first need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. I see this little tarp over here. This will have to do. Can you wrap Nina's corpse inside and tarp away and carry her? I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks would do too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just wait, watch your slippers. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. Okay, right here seems good. Mirror, there doesn't even any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Get it, she fits in here just fine. I. Okay, fine. You and Lila push. <laughs> Fuck my voice, sorry. Push the body in its grave. <coughs> Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, this can't be this obvious spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Uh, okay. How much more foliage do I need? Oh shit. Okay, that's all the ones I can find. Yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something holding in place then. Like rocks? Like a big ass rock? Nice, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't gonna do that, I was just saying. What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if the police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> of course you can. 
You know that if you think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened. Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lie, lie, I need to know. Won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just won't f said we'll forget all about it. And one thing... You say one thing and do another. Promise me this time you will be... You will honestly God, keep your mouth shut. My voice... My, my brain is losing... Everything, because I've been playing this game for so long, and I've been reading everything. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll even never say your game again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> there, there, it'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. You won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone about what you did. Who's going to play <laughs> with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. I guess you have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. And you're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble, too. So what? No one likes me anyways. But that's fine, because you'll be around. God, you're st stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one likes you either. So let's just be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You've had a million things you want to say f to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. So what is went by without a hitch? Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh, really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some others just came by too. And did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Julie if she was okay. If she was expecting to see anyone any the other day. Why? You no, know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. But I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to... Yeah. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. Well, she was visiting my family that day, so I doubt she had it. Promises mean fucking nothing. Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream yet. I'm the jackass? Wait, I see how it is. You're still pinning for that. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get laid back because I feel like this is gonna take a while. Yeah, hold my mic in a more comfortable way. Hopefully this doesn't change the sound quality too much. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's ne <laughs> It was never good enough. What, what a snake. I bet she died on purpose. Biting a knife. What the fuck? Hey, where are you going? No. Out of kitchen. No. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you have to promise me something. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes, you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you ruin, if, if you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason for them to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. So what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lila, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life, and for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Make of that, you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Gently, you asshole. How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. Thus, she keeps her mouth shut. As long as you keep your eyes closed. Let no hussy steal your, steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Hey, what? No, they thought I want to do over. Too late. I promise is a promise. Andy, that is not fair. Oh, don't be like that. I'll make your... I'll make you a priority. It's not the only- It's not enough. Why can't you- Why can't you just- Kill our parents? Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. You know you want to. 
Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's away. Good morning or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep, to offer mom and dad to the demon? Right now, right now, while they're asleep. We'll set up the ritual and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, and yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more expected than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. We have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I still think anything else about after talking to her. It's because at your core, you just have a sack gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would kind of fool you up already. Chomp. <laughs> now, what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb, I should. Intro, are you still awake? Yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I want to talk to you about Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. Everything's over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I really don't need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind a little old me. For the love of God, this is better enough what it really looks like. Whatever does it look like to you? Where, where did you get... What's it look like now, Mom? Ashley, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in the gun, but your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, get the rope or something. I'm trying this bitch up. Don't kill Dad. You do not need to be told that. <sighs> we need rope? Where the fuck am I going to get rope from? Any rope in the basement? Is there rope down here? I don't see any, so I'm going to go back up. I don't know. Maybe their parents are kinky or some shit. There's rope in here. Hello. Wow. I wonder if this is fun. Nice one, Butterfingers. Fun. What on earth are you doing? Sorry, I need to, uh... This is in their connection. <laughs> we're running through this like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> the truth is, I want the time I love to... Want to fuck myself? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to go get some from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused your father goes to check on your mother. Got rope. Maybe she'll hang herself with it? Possibly, man. Is anything alright? You take out your clue. Oh shit, you're gonna sneak up from behind and get him. <coughs> what is going on? Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masked? <laughs> Just walk down, slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope, you can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell into it as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Andrew, I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Don't move, don't scream, I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either, just shut up and wait. What am I supposed to do? Wait, what? Why are you here? Did you find anything to tie her? Oh, I need to tie her up too. Um, what could, what could, I, what could I use to tie a person up? Oh, Christmas lights, hey. This is what this has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the- Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what you about money? How'd you get far just for- What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you screw it down. Okay, I'm going to try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Depends if they behave or not. Alright, I'll be quick. What are you gonna try to buy? Whoa, 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 are you gonna get back downstairs? They're not gonna try anything. Like one of them starts screaming, it's just holding the blow up on her face. It's amazing how cooperative of a person is. But the gun pointed at him. So go point at it. I'll be right back. It's just Come on, we'll get, no need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well you have to be this habit of flip flopping. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, it's just I've already been recording for an hour and hour and fourteen minutes. And it just doesn't seem like it's going to end anytime soon. Like, fuck. Pfft. Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, we're playing as Ashley again. You are Ashley.
While well, Andrew's busy picking up, you decide to set up the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see. How's it going? Blood candles and candles. Runes, candles, and blood. Music, runes, and a book. It required music, runes, candles, and blood. This is the place of orange fat. Also, set up two candles, and there was a big magic trick already drawn. I think that was drawn in blood, too. Come on, please, with an Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be that hard to do. First things first, I need blood to draw with. You know where you're gonna get that from? Oh, I need to go grab a knife. There's about to be one in the kitchen. I'm sorry, is that not a knife set right there? Oh, it's right here. You know, I totally was just sitting on a step ladder. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna count one of you to draw some blood, and if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? So now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even when I stuck my neck out for you all this time, I like the time when you left me to starve for three months. Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. You never told anyone what you two psychos did to that girl. Wait, what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna right, Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to your of yours when you were missing. I know a second she found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have ridden myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah, oh, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. You have any idea what that would have done if they found out? Now then, your paragons of fridge. Let's see whose blood I should. Oh, cut father. Hey! What a no screaming escapes you. <laughs> oh, we're putting them in it. Like my Drew Circle. Do you even know what that circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you, you never. <laughs> candles, candles, candles. Um, you're missing the star in the middle? Whatever. Oh, wait, no. Okay, the candles ahead. Welcome back! Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card? I do? I do, I can only get a couple hundred before it locks me out. Ah, <laughs> suck it, bitch. Well, guess what? Now we get all the witnesses of Wander's customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. Where's the phone? Oh, it's right over here. I feel like this customer's line just open for the day. It's some of this already a million hour wait, so guess what? You wait. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please, I'm not gonna say this all the fucking time. Roughly a quarter millennia later, a mother gets hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Well, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. And all being held at gunpoint. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. If there's anything else to go with, apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Miss Graves. I'm back to the basement with you. Don't leave for a second. I don't see the stone you're trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Come on, mother. Let us go to the basement. I don't like the way I said that. Anyway, let's get back tied up. The card should be good now. Unlike your mother, who, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you said up here. Let's just say it's not quite there, is it? What do you? I don't remember what the little ruins looked like anyway. God, your memory's such shit. I already figured out as much as I sketched them out for you. Yeah, now I see them. Why don't you just draw the ruins themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have got a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering all around by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, can I leave Andrew alone? Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll say to him? I just wish you washy easy enough as it is. Ashley? I wonder if you could trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your pants. <laughs> Save game. <laughs> We're saving. Um, <laughs> should I trust him? Or should I say fuck that? Hmm. Fuck that. 
forget this check. This isn't exactly still a record when it comes to watching over hostage. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with that lady from Rune 302. Never mind, you're right. I just think you get the cash. All right, good. Here, for the candles. Got the lighter. And the ruins? Those ruins are pentagrams. We have to begin drawing them from the... I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time. I Everything worked fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more blood. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've brainwashed Andrew to play along with us. My mic's cord's coming out. Please don't unplug on me. Brainwashed him, my ass. Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please. Got blood. Again. Let's draw these damn ruins. Are there only three of them? There's probably enough ruins. Now we light these damn candles. We can get this fucking- Oh my god. Fucking party started. Let's go, bitches. Everything is just like- I can't really see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time at the summon. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood for music, but I have other stuff you asked for. Maybe if I sing or something, please don't. Personally, the demon shows up to spare everyone from secondhand embarrassment. Tars! Tars! So. What the fuck is that? I offer those two. They're screaming as short lived as the demon steals their souls. Hmm, wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music was needed to summon you after all? But I have to play it so play it last time then. The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, a deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. Does it work twice? What? What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. <laughs> he may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... But nothing, actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I give him around. I see. Farewell, Tarsal. Until you have another soul to offer. Right, thank you. Bye bye. The entity leaves. I don't know why I keep you around either. I'm trying to get my mic into a good spot. I don't know. What what do you keep me around for? Certainly no pretty lady. You can't even f can't even fuck me. <sighs> I'm just a woman you blame for everything, so don't feel so you're too bad. Where is this coming from? But if I left you alone with our parents, it would have sided with them. This again, I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I had to think about it. But right, shouldn't it be telling you that I... It was an... That even after I thought it through, I picked you. Andrew picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. More, what more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. Because you give me nothing and then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well, then just think about it. What are we doing with the bodies? It just doesn't matter what I say when you get like this. The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, the bodies. Um, uh, well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other hand, having them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can stop by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually, we gotta make it vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I forget. Here, you can have this back. No, how do we go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Oh, right, you are. Andrew's untying the parent, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? Look at looking, sure enough, dad's just moving so slightly. And he has mom, too. You have various things, but nothing gets the response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw on air. Oh, God, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? This can't be. The cult has died, and the warden did, too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, please don't tell me he was still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you're ripping his head off. Might have done the trick. <laughs> It'll be the same with these two. Get the cutting. No, that this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. So if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Don't know, I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look, look here for a sec. What? 
You get your father too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But he did not. Missed that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop. It's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great. The drain's clogged up. The lid is screwed. Oh my god. I thought that was the door. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get something done clogging the drain with. Um. Oh, wait. There's a toolbox. And how do I clog this thing anyway? Just screw the lid. We can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Ah, vinegar. Do I need baking soda too? Do I need a screwdriver, some baking soda, and vinegar. Okay, so you need both. Is there baking soda here too? No, it's of course it's fucking upstairs. Ugh. Baking soda. Hey, baking soda. Pour in some baking soda. So it starts welling up, but the clog doesn't lessen. Loose. I'll be trying. I got some rubber gloves. I'm the one here who's gonna have to get in there. But of course. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. What was her mom gonna tell uh, Andrew before she saw uh, Ashley? I, I wanna know that. Here you go, have fun. You say that it's not her kid. She's just some random bitch. A seeming never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> And he doesn't respond to anything like, oh, good, good. I think he's finally coming around. Will there be no reaction at all? It's a little worse. The drain works. Let's just get over with. Let's get over with. You and your brother dismantle your parents and disembowel them and decapitate them. What fun. You're saying sick? Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course, you can tell me anything. Anything I want used against me, anyway. <laughs> I... We're, we're just gonna skip right past that, too. No, no, you're not. Talk to me. I've got nothing to say to you. Oh my god, I thought you stabbed Ashley. So, what's the plan for all this? We have to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? Well, we use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we're gonna do. Are we gonna talk about the love, love, love part? We're not gonna talk about that? I'm assuming she... We're all gonna- I'm just gonna take a little break, right? We're all gonna assume she meant as in a brother. Not- We're gonna- In a platonic way. Nothing more. Nothing more. That's all I have to say. Nothing more. It's just platonic. Ooh, we can burn the bodies here. It'd be like a cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. You place the in the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, what would you look at? Nothing's happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. Let's leave this be for now. Anything in the kitchen? Oh shit, blender. How's that? Good as gone. Great, now do it with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? There's, st there's still- Okay, we're not gonna clean up the blender. Okay, so we just have a few body parts left. For the summon here, like all the kinky sex toys, it's just gonna be like another sex toy. No, nope, okay. Um, backyard. Bound to be some in the backyard. Oh, I can't leave. Bathroom! Gonna be something in the bath. Oh, yeah, we can flush them. No water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you try this one. Oh, shit. No, I didn't want to do that. Renovations are afoot. Fuck, do I put the rest of these body parts, man? Is there anywhere in the basement I could real quick shove them? Oh, yeah, in the washing machine. Let's shove them in the washing machine. Oh, you're no fun. Functioning toilet. Yeah, shove body parts down it. This sounds weird. 
Um. What the fuck do I do with the rest of this shit? You know, we still have limbs and a he two heads. Get the limbs and chop meat. You got chop meat. Let's get in the heads. You got two faces and two skulls. What do we do with the faces? Make mask out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with the other bones. Okay, so we can throw the skulls in the fire. Throw them. Now we just have skulls and chop meat. And you're sure I can't go outside? No, I can't. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe we can flush the skulls down the toilet. No, not back up. Maybe we can just, like, shove the skulls in the toilet? No. Okay, well, you're no fun. Don't get in the shower with your brother. Sexy lingerie. I don't know. There's nothing in this box anymore. Took all the lights and the candles out of them. Is there something here you could do with skulls? I right, know, let's turn on some meat in the soup. Throw it in some vegetable, maybe spice, and then throw the rest away for scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. Was that soup you made earlier? What were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them in a pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Okay, so apparently now we gotta cook soup. Uh... Dead person soup. So let's cook dead person soup, baby. This is my favorite type of soup. I want to finish this all in one playthrough. But uh, I'm an hour half in this recording, and it's 9.50 p.m. So uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, is there anything else that we still need to deal with? Um, yep. We still have the skulls. We can make coffee. Um, where the fuck would you put skulls? Do you think the soup is ready yet? Good. Dinner is ready. I'm eating too. Of course, this is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while. Really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Mm, but don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Um, let me think, munch munch. Okay, so humans are the top food chain, right? Well then. I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that shit. That's not really how it works, but whatever. Then is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? <laughs> ah, you're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it, I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and they found, I'm consuming all that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does that power leave as a, the sh your shit, the corpse is out? <laughs> No, it's absorbing nutrients. Just keep... Oh my god, I'm salivating so fucking much. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, why would I want to do that? I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity. At least I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. There, finally. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. We could be fine just stick this trash bin outside, right? Well, we could probably ask him. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah. Uh, right, was I thinking? You wouldn't even worry if I told you to. Oh, we're now with Andrew. Shit. You are Andrew. Girl, two bones. But I'll just click them all before we actually lose tracks of them. Got plastic bags. Where are the bones in my. Oh, no, I just have everything. Shit. Oh, it's been a plastic bag. Wait, no, is the items different? They are different. Never mind. Okay, well, you could put the bones. Somewhere, you know, put them with the sex toys. Don't think anything of that. Bones with sex toys? Dude, what the fuck? So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing these two in the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much thing to disappear, huh? What do we do about the other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess? 
you guess? Oh, nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. Give me these damn skulls. Oh, I know, I just got a whole bunch of teeth. Okay, we gotta find a way to dispose of these teeth, like, say, a toilet. They're all gone. You wish you could do this all. <laughs> True. Teeth, bag of the bones, it's my next call today. Okay, we need something to weigh it down, right? Like a mop. No, nope. or some sexy lingerie. Or some sex toys. That'll surely weigh it down enough right now. What about, you know, carrots, potatoes, and all that sorts? That'll weigh it down, right? Uh. I don't need to reread that shit. Okay, if there's nothing in this room over here, then it legitimately... There are some planks here. Oh, wait, there's rocks out here. Let's go back down. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ugh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Well, we have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Why would I have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone's going to have to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired, so I... I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. <clears throat> There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. Their neighbors will notice them gone, despite their name still being on the door. We can tell we can tell some lie. Say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, and other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. We weren't happy with them. Wait, why weren't they they happy with just each other? I don't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go, haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. Not that I don't want to, it's just I don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem with our as our own ideas. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see that we'll be enough to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley, I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean up the basement then. <coughs> Why do we have to be Ashley cleaning up the basement? God damn it, I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. <gasps> like the fresh with the fresh pristine one over here. An excellent mop. Look at how excellent it is. Washing up all this blood. Damn, not a speck on the ground. Oh, it's even washing up this shit too, hell yeah. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yeah, you probably should. Someone's gonna think some real weird shit if you have all this shit. Oh no, return them out. What's a brilliant mop here? What else do I need to clean up? Do I just go tell Andrew? Why the fuck is he just standing here? All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. There's no, there's no way to miss some. Other than maybe see if you have a dream when we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls. So it stands reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? So please do. Oh shit, am I actually napping? Am I actually, like, going to sleep? This is what the demons say exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Possibly any less of a fuck, that'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness, it's been a week or two. And up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that if I need to hold on to it, it was a clairvoyant dream, so that's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then, could you hold on to it this time? Could I? No, come on. Even if I, even if you'd have a vision, you'd just freak out and overthink it. You, your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you now. Now I'm definitely not letting you have it. Ugh, just fine. That wasn't called for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine. Whatever. Have an awful night and terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. Ah, uh, well this looks familiar. Mish. Is he with something again or... Like, say it would. 
Goes out the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Um, yeah, you think? Fuck. Oh, no, 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's the way to the demon realm. Oh, no. Get me the fuck out of here. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, no, chop, 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 indeed, man. Someone live nearby? Do you see firewood? Pursuit. Pursuit. Can I chop down these trees? You kidding me? I can't chop down like these trees and get wood from it to like get more flowers. What does this say? The rotan gets the axe. Shit! I run. I just got the rotan. Get the rotan and the sword. Okay. We're home, sweet home now. We are safe. Um. Oh shit, there's flowers here. Couldn't see those. I'm sorry, where do I put those? Oh fuck, I'm dumb. Put them right here. Shit, I need. Oh, there's one right here. Thought you could hide from me. Give me that dumbass plank. Then we need to get up there. Um, which we think we place here. Then we can place right here. Get another flower. Give me that shit. Place it here. Get flower. Flower and flower. Okay, I can't just place it there and there. I guess maybe it's too short. Fuck, how do I get over there? Oh, damn, wait, could I have placed flowers there? Is that what I was supposed to do? There's nothing to step on. Yeah, no, I could see that. Um, what do I do here? I have no... F oh, wait, can I re-grab flowers? That'd be hella useful if I could. No, I fucking can't. I have more flowers. <sighs> because you've gone and fucked yourself. Okay, then. Um. Um. Where the fuck's the key? Oh, okay. I see the. I see the white key. Oh, wait. How the fuck do I get there? Um, you go up. And you go this way, and the white key is just right here. Okay, now we can go over there, which requires just a bit of attention. There we go. Oh shit, hey, motherfucker, run! Oh, ah, it's just you. No wait, something isn't. Um, I don't suppose we could talk things out. There, truce. Come on, Andy, play nice with your sister. Tag. I'm it. You should run. In three, two, one. Fucking hell. Why the hell is he so fast? Wait, no, it's not my fault! This episode is titled... <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait! Andy and Layla and... No, Andrew, wait! <laughs> and the final finale. Finally! I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just forget about all this. Everything will be just fine. I behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. And I'm not falling for this again. No, no, no way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm so tired of sorries. They don't mean shit. Okay, thank God. Shit and shit. No, 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 no. What did I just... What would Andy ever... No. You would never. Not my Andy. 
No, I suppose he might, or Andrew might anyway. It's him less and less and less. Everything okay with you? Oh yeah, I guess I just had a nightmare. A vision? No! No, it was just vague nonsense. Okay, hey Andy. Please be Andy, please be Andy, please be Andy. <sighs> what is it? Nothing, fuck. Nothing, nothing, never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply as usual. What a kill you say back every once in a while? You keep calling me some other guy's name. What do you expect? One well, that our parents will jump into the ocean by themselves. Shit. Which way is to the ocean? You never fucking told me. Is it this way? No, it must be up. Or down? No, not down. It must be up. Whoops, are you picking them up or what? Hey, now I wasn't the one who picked Just pick them up, you dumb bitch. Would you call me? Now, Ashley! Alright, alright. Yeah, no, better pick these up before someone fucking sees. Also, I'm going up the stairs this time. Thank God no one's here at this hour. Vroom, vroom! Okay, so don't stretch too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops the bag with the box. What about those skulls, since they're no longer in the bag? Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? Nothing. So, what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh wow, this is new. How come? I'm going to do whatever you want anyway. Why even ask me? Are you, uh, mad at me? Nah. What do you want me to do, Ashley? I want you to do... I want to do what you want to do. Want to turn ourselves in then? What? No, that? No, no, what the hell? So much for my opinion, not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised that you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope, but I remember half a minute ago when you said, why do we do... Why do what I want? You're really going to treat me like this after all I've just done for you? So you are mad at me, I fucking knew it. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But... So what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do, and then let's go. You are fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday. I had to be, didn't I? You knew I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing for it, and you think I didn't pick up on that? There's neither, well, there's neither appearances to keep, nor corpses to hide. No. So do you want to have another go at it? Well, what do you want, Andrew? I want to lock you in the trunk of the car and drive off this bridge. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Don't, don't, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect I give you. I will, right after you love me with half the heart I love you with. <laughs> so how exactly is irrit irritating me is supposed to inspire tenderness? It's complicated, I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are, you're an absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of the, of the stupids. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. Get out of here. Where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. You already told you. I don't know, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. End of episode two. Want to save the game? Oh, yeah. You can continue here once episode three decay has been updated. Holy shit, I did it! Um, that was really goddamn good. I loved it. Um, I'm totally gonna play it once part three comes out. So if you wanna see that, I'm gonna do it anyway, but if you, you know, wanna, wanna know what that happens, then, you know, subscribe, like, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.